James Clyburn or Jim Clyburn, whichever one, he was out there on MSNBC talking the morning Joe about inflation. And one thing he's really worried about when it comes to inflation is that there's just a bunch of disinformation out there. And people are being told online, on Twitter, Facebook, social media, that inflation's really bad and that the economy's in bad shape. And they're just coming to disinformation. They're not actually paying attention to what's going on in their own lives or how much more money they're spending on groceries or gas or anything like that. It's disinformation that's out there. They just don't know the truth. And so he starts off by telling you the truth. And by truth, I mean he lies about a bunch of things and says that it's the truth while talking about disinformation, which I found to be really interesting. There are concern uh, about things like inflation. But what we've got to get them to see is that inflation today is about 40% of what it was uh, when Joe Biden took office. And so the inflation rates are down and people's incomes are up. Unemployment uh, is uh, on the decrease. And although we see the prices at the stores costing more money, people are in fact earning greater incomes. So what we've got to do is make sure that people see the policies of the Biden administration, how they affect their everyday lives, and get them to see in his policies that which is real. Not what they may hear on social media. One of the focus group people talked about social media and the misrepresentation, disinformation, all of those things mm -hmm. are out there and that's the battle that we have to fight, and we've got to do a better job of fighting it more effectively. So he wants to combat disinformation. And by combating disinformation, what he means is he's going to tell you a bunch of things that aren't true. What things did he say that aren't true? Well, he said two that aren't true, and a third one that's uh, questionable, depending on where you look at the data. The first thing he says is that people need to realize that inflation is 40% of where it was when Joe Biden took office. That might be great if it were true, but unfortunately, I guess he thinks Joe Biden took office in June of 2022. I'm not sure because Biden actually took office in January of 2021. And at that point, inflation was at 1.4%. Right now, inflation is at 3.5%, just going by the official BLS CPI numbers. So first off, he's fighting disinformation by either lying or just being an idiot. He also says that people are, that wages are up. People are making more money. There's been some wage gains in relation to, uh, to inflation over the last six, eight months or so. But if you look at the average weekly salary in the United States uh, with inflation, that's down about 0.72% when you take inflation into account. It has made some gains as of late, but that was after a whole bunch of losses that took place. So keep in mind, in his worry about disinformation that's online, he either lies or gets two things wrong. So misinformation from him, and then he say, says unemployment's on to the climb. Now this is not really like a lie or a big crazy point that you have to make. But I do want to point out the fact that right before the COVID pandemic, and I think it's important to look right before the COVID pandemic happened, when the government shut stuff down, the unemployment rate was at 3.5%. It's currently at 3.8%. It is down from when Joe Biden took office. When he took office, unemployment was at 6.4%. We were still in the COVID economy at that time. Uh, and so it is down quite a bit from when he took office. I do like to look at where it was before COVID, as I've explained several times. If you don't care about what it was the month before COVID, then what you're saying is, if a Democrat would have been in office, if it wouldn't have been Donald Trump, if it would have been Hillary Clinton instead that was in office, we would have had no lockdowns, less lockdowns. They would not have shut the country down. They would have just let everyone do whatever they wanted during COVID. So we can disagree with what Trump said and we can say, well, some of Trump's policies and then a lot of state governor policies uh, led to this really high unemployment rate. And Biden came into office and the economy opens back up and the unemployment rate goes back down to what it used to be. But you can't 
blame that part on Trump unless you think that if Hillary Clinton was in office instead of Donald Trump, that she would not have done any lockdowns and that the economy would have just kept moving smoothly and nothing would have changed. That's, I don't think that's what would have happened. In fact, I think there would have been more. I think there would have been a lot more rules if it wouldn't have been Trump in charge. Lesser of two evils, still evil. We understand that part. I still think he did less to shut down America during this time than a Democrat in charge would have done.